Good afternoon. Monday, August 13th. Kids are back in school already. Brand new week for us. Or we may say work week, right? We call this a work week. Brand new work day. Some of you say back to the grind, right? I'm in DC in the middle of the rat race, right? You gotta be careful with that. If you think about it, we say ah, it's a school day. It's a work day. Like we place emphasis, we put a word there that talks about the activities that we're gonna do. And that's how we define that day. It's a work day. This isn't your boss's day. It's not just a work day. The Bible says it is the Lord's day. And tomorrow, again, it is the Lord's day. So this is, yes, it's a work week. It's a work day, but it's also God's day and God's week. Not trying to give you like this extreme religious view, but why am I telling you this? All you have to do is go to your Encyclopedia Galactica, i.e. Google, and research and find out when are heart attacks most probable? When do they happen most frequently? You'll find out it's on Mondays. It's the stress of a new, what? A new work week. The stress of going back to work. Because no one likes to say, thank God it's Monday. Everybody loves, thank God it's Friday. They love that phrase. Because they get to rest, right? Well-deserved rest after a hard week, right, of grinding. Man, thank God it's Friday. But you need a Monday to get to a Friday, and you need a Tuesday, right? And you need the rest of the week to get to the Friday. And at the end of the Friday, you have a well-deserved rest. How you doing, man? God bless. You have a well-deserved rest. Could you rest during the week while you're working? Or do you need to wait till Saturday to chill and rest, right? And not have to worry about anything. Monday morning is, is coming up in less than 48 hours, you're gonna be stressed again. So this is what, what I'm telling you. I'm saying place the emphasis on what? On this is God's day. This day does not belong to your boss. Do you have to do a good job? Yes, we're called to be good stewards. You're called to work like you're working for God because you know what? You are working for God. So um, among this framework that I just gave you is the verse of the day today. And it is Psalm 27 verse one. It's a Psalm of David. And who's David? You know, he had incredible successes. He killed Goliath when he was young, but he also had failures right incredible failures and at one point he's being chased persecuted by people in his own household right he's running for his life he's hiding even in caves right darkness is engulfing him and what is he saying in psalm 27 he says the lord is my light and salvation whom shall i fear then he says the Lord is the stronghold of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? Stronghold, military term, fortress. It's where you run for security, for protection. He's saying, God is my stronghold. God is my light. How important is it to have a light when you're being engulfed by darkness? Think about it. You're in a cave, you're trying to get out. It's complete, utter darkness. You can stumble, you can fall, you can break bones. You could be heading into danger and not know it because you don't see anything, right? Um, you could be heading deeper into the cave, right? Trying to find your way out and you're going the wrong way. A small light, just a, a candlelight, a small flashlight will completely expose everything out there that is hiding in the darkness. So that's what he's saying. He's saying, the Lord is my light. You know, in the beginning, book of Genesis God is creating the heavens and the earth he's creating the universe and he's beginning to shape it to form it and what's the first words out of the out of his mouth he says let there be light first thing let there be light this is what David is saying he's saying let there be light with me today God is my light right God's my salvation he's with me so this is what we have to do. We have to look at that and, and take heed of that, take an example and say, you know what? 
I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to work today. I'm going to say like God said. I'm going to say let there be light. Because there's tasks that I'm shaping. There's things that I'm doing. I'm creating things. First thing you should be doing is saying that. Let there be light. Meaning, God's with me here. This is not my boss's day. This is God's day. You know, at the end in Revelation, the end of the Bible, it says that when everything is done and over with, there will be no darkness, there will be no night. It says you won't need a lamp, you won't need the sun. Like, I can't look directly into the sun, into a, our natural source of light without like burning my eyeballs. The sun is not even gonna be, the sun's gonna be do, done away with. God is gonna be the source of all light. How's that gonna work? I don't know. I don't know, but it does make sense to a degree because if you think about in the beginning, God says there's light, let there be light, and there was light. You know, he, didn't, he had not created the sun. The sun, the moon, the stars, he didn't create that till later on. But yeah, he said, let there be light, and there was light. So what am I telling you? You need to say, the Lord is my light. The Lord is my salvation. You can have rest in the midst of your week. And you don't necessarily have to call it a work week. Yes, you are working. But hey, that's where God has you. That's where God has you. Right? You're called the light as well. You're the salt and light of the world. What are you to do? You're to reflect light. You're to bring light into dark places. It's important because light, like I said, dispels darkness. And you can see better, clear. You can see danger, obstacles, and so on. As we're moving through the week, you need to be saying, let there be light. And that light is God. And He's with me at every moment. And He's also my salvation. And He's also my stronghold. All right? So... Have a good rest of the week. I'm not going to say have a good rest of your work week. I'm going to say week. I'm going to say God's week. All right? Be blessed. Peace.